Hi, I'm Coach Kelly with Peregrine Endurance Sports. Let's talk about being data informed versus data driven. An example, today's run was nine and a half miles with four miles of those at my intended race pace, or rather watts, I run with watts. And I was really having a hard time hitting the watts today. I wasn't overtired. It was relatively level ground. There wasn't wind. There wasn't really a reason why I shouldn't have been hitting these watts. And then I remembered, well, as my watts went down to 25 and I was clearly not running 25 watts, I remembered I didn't charge my stride meter. Oops, probably should have done that. So I had to use rate of perceived exertion. Had I kept trying to hit those watts and not notice the 25 watts, then I probably would have used all my matches and wouldn't have been able to complete the nine and a half miles. But I used my data. I was informed with my data. I knew something was not quite right with my data. And I was able to continue the run using rate of perceived exertion and heart rate. I did have heart rate. However, it was a little bit hot out there. It was a really hot day. So let's apply this to you if you're doing a training run or even a race and a battery runs out or you forget your power meter, you forget your heart rate monitor, it's not the end of the world. You can still complete your training or your race. You just have to be more cognizant of how are you feeling? How does this compare to other races or other runs that you've done in the past? and use that information. Great, hope this is helpful.